Well, hello there. It's Connie Fife, your unstoppable diva, and you are here listening to the Connie Fife Show. So I ask you, uh, uh, let me just start that all over. <clears throat> That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay, take two. All right. Take two to Connie Fife Show. All right, three, two, one. Well, hello, and you're listening to the Connie Fife Show, and I'm Connie Fife, your unstoppable diva. So now I want you to share this video. We have some amazing, amazing giveaways. Uh, we have everything from autographed T-shirts, from entertainers, gift bags. We have autographed books. So much, so much that we have to give away. And today's guest is going to be giving away an autographed copy of her book, The Rule of Nines. And I'm going to introduce you a little bit more and tell you a little bit more about her just in a minute. But remember to keep on sharing, commenting, share it with your friends, your colleagues, your friends, your neighbors. Um, people that need a podcast is going to help them uh, build their business, build their lifestyle business, because that's what we're all about, providing those tips and tools so you can build your lifestyle business, so you can live the dream that you want to be living. So remember to keep on sharing. So let's get on with the show. So we are talking, we are talking uh, to this fabulous lady, this fabulous woman. She used to be an LAPD police officer, turned detective, turned registered nurse, and she continues to work in the LA healthcare system. She does a lot of work um, with, with homeless people, um, get, helping people get off the streets, get healthy, get happy. And I mean, she just has such a big heart and she's always giving back, always giving away. And that led her to write the book that um, it, it came to her I mean, in, in a dream that said, you need, really need to write this book. You really need to help other people, help them move beyond, help them live less out of habit and more out of intention. And that's what so many, so many of us do. So we're going to find a little bit more about this book in a minute. So let me welcome to the Connie Five Show, in our hot seat, a member of our talent concierge, Kathleen Heim. Hey, Kathy, welcome to the show. Wow. Well, thank you, Connie. That was quite an introduction. <laughs> so much for having me here. I really appreciate being here on your show. Well, you, you've done so much. You've, you've accomplished so much. I mean, three, I mean, major careers that you've had in your life. And, and some people do struggle through one and they don't know where to go from there. And I know that your book talks a lot about that, about, about career, about dating, about weight loss. Um, there's so much that you talk about in, in the rule of nines, but you also talk about habits. And so I'm going to play devil's advocate here because, because we always hear that, you know, develop those habits, you know, do the same thing for 10 days or 20 days, whatever the, the new number is today, and it will become a habit. But your book is about living less out of habit and more out of intention. So what's the difference? So, okay, that's a great question. So, um, so let me try to explain to you what the difference is. So, um, live less out of habit, more out of intention. Those are the words you just used. So, habit to me is something that is a subconscious action that you're taking, something that maybe isn't a conscious choice that you're making. It's something that maybe you've been, I, I don't like to use this word, but I'm going to use this word brainwash to do. Okay. Uh, maybe it's from society, maybe from a mm -hmm. family member, but you feel you need to do things a certain way and you just do them that way. So we start that at a very young age. However, throughout our process of our life, we develop more habits based on the subconscious mind and external influences. So, right. so that's a habit. So a habit can be good and a habit can be bad. So more out of intention. So let's make those habits more intentional. So for instance, um, I'm just going to bring up a point about putting on your shoes because most people you say, you know, what do you do? You know, right shoe, left shoe, left shoe, right shoe, shoe, sock, shoe, sock. What do you do? Right. And most of us really have to sit and think, I don't really know what I do. So right. you put your shoes on and then you realize that's how I do it. Well, why do you do it that way? Because you were probably, it, you were taught to do it that way. So, you know, going back to our everyday living, so that's basically where we're coming from. We've been mm -hmm. taught to do things a certain way without okay. really thought, without going inside. So living less out of habit and more out of intention is right. basically maybe kind of making your intention a habit. So doing things, figuring out how you want to do things, what works for you, what mm -hmm. comes for you, and making that your new habit. 
That reminds me of a story. Um, if I could tell my, my story. So this, 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 this young girl, young woman got married. She was young and it was coming up to Easter and every Easter the family had a ham. And so that was her turn to do family dinner. And so they, they bought the ham and she says to her, her new husband, well, we have to cut off the, ed- the edges of the ham. And he said, why? And she said, I, I don't know. That's what my grandmother always did. And my mother always did it. So that's what I'm doing. You got to cut off the edges of the ham. So they make the ham. Mom and grandma comes over later with the whole family. And the new husband had to ask. He's like, why do you cut off the edges of the ham? I've never seen that. What's the reason for that? And the grandmother said, well, because my oven was so small, the only way I would fit it into the oven is if I cut the ends of the ham off. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right, right. I don't know why we're doing it because someone told us this is the way we do it and we don't know why. There's no intention behind the action. So now you know. So if your oven's small, maybe that works for you. But if it's right. big, the hands on. Eat the whole ham. Right, eat the whole ham. <laughs> so, so, what, so what is it in the rule of nine that is different that's going to help people take those steps, take that action to change their life every day and live out of intention? So... Okay, so what I really love about the rule of nines is, and what makes it different from other books, is that it's, it's the rule of nines, it's not really rules, it's just steps to take. So a lot of times when you're trying to change something, you have hard, fast rules to follow, but this is very mm-hmm. individualized, it's a, a self-exploration. So um, you know, the rules start with you know, your what, which is identifying you know, what's important to you, what do you want to achieve, what do you want to mm-hmm. change, it's very personalized. And then, um, well, you know, chapter two, rule two is, you know, the whys. What are your reasons why? So, um, and then how you're going to get there, visualize your mm-hmm. life, so on and so forth with steps. But they're not steps like you have to um, do A, B, C, and D exactly this way. They're very individualized um, okay. about what is, you know, how it works for you. So I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just okay. giving you guidelines. So you can figure out what works for you in order to create those changes in your life. And that's what makes it different. And that's what Mm -hmm. I love about the rule of nines. Well, what I like is that it's individualized, like you said, because no one is the same. We're all different. Our situations are different. How we got there are different. The the habits that we were raised with are different. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you know, take cultures, take age, take whatever it is. Everything is different. And in the rule of nines, you're giving them the opportunity to self-exploration and then, okay, then what do I need to change? What serves me well? What doesn't serve me well? What do I want to take forward? Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of that. And some people have a lot, of, a lot of shit that they're carrying with them forward from past generations. So it's, uh, you know, when I read the book, it actually helps people open up Again, recognize what is good that they want to keep and hang on to, but then let the rest of it go. Let the rest of it go. Absolutely. I'm glad that you got that from the book because that is a big part of it. What's holding Mm -hmm. you back and what are you going to do to move forward? Because you have to let go of what's holding you back because Mm -hmm. you can't be going in two directions at once. So I basically look at it as, you know, your momentum's going like a train. What are you going to do to get that moving? Right. Go downhill, not uphill. So you have to get rid of the uphill to go downhill. Mm -hmm. So nice. I'm glad that you got that out of the book. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a really quick break and we'll come back, talk about the book a little bit more. And then I have a few questions for you in our hot seat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hang in there. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah, and we're back, and you're listening to The Connie Fife Show. Our unstoppable guest today is Kathleen Heim. She's a former LAPD police detective, police officer, turned detective, currently a registered nurse, and she works in the LA medical medical system, and she is the author of The Rule of Nines, Live Less Out of Habit and More Out of Intention. So I'm... And, I mean, I'm just in awe of you, Kathy, and I mean, you have so much going on, so I guess the question is, what's next? And I know you work, and I know you're working on another book. 
<laughs> yeah. So, um, well, so, um, you know, part of what's next is continuing with this book and being able to get it to as many people as possible so they can mm -hmm. live their best life possible, you know, speaking, just, you know, doing my best to move people forward. And of course, my passion for the homeless population, um, you know, proceeds from my book do go to help, you know, um, feed the homeless population in the United States. And I do have a second book that is uh, more than halfway finished. And I'm really super excited about that book. It's a lot of fun. It's different, but it's also uh, very helpful. So you're clearly, clearly living out of intention. Absolutely. Wow, wow. And then <laughs> you know, keep in mind that everybody's, it, it looks different to mm -hmm. everybody. Intention looks different to everybody. Right. So, right. you know, um, like I said, some people may choose you know, um, to be in better shape, weight loss, more money. Mm -hmm. My intention is to get my message out. And that's where I'm going. The other stuff is on the back burner. Right. I'm going forward with my mission. Well, it's really, it's, it's critical. And I tell so many of the clients I work with to stop chasing the dollars. Don't chase the dollars, chase your mission. Go after your mission. And when you do, those dollars will come in. You know, guaranteed but you have to go after that mission and that's what's going to fulfill our soul and life and everything that we do which is part of the rule of nine the rule of nines i must have read that somewhere so, <laughs> maybe you have but everything that you do moving forward you really need to look on the inside and mm -hmm. are you being rewarded internally intrinsically Mm -hmm. You know, what is your payoff? Is right. that a reward? Because if it's external, if it's money, if it's, those things can be taken away, what's going to um, what, it feed your soul indefinitely? Mm -hmm. Right. Something someone else can't take away from you. And one thing I always like to talk about, because it's so easy for everyone to understand, you read a book, a textbook, let's say, you gain knowledge, and guess what? Nobody can take that away from you. That's yours right. to keep. And that's what I'm talking about. What, what, what is this going to change, change in your life? What can mm -hmm. you change? It's going to give you something that you can keep forever yours, only yours, and no one can take it away from you. So, okay, we have a couple questions now for our hot seat. Ooh. So, ooh. <laughs> hot. <Yeah. laughs> and they're not hot flashes. <laughs> so, Kathy, finish this sentence for me. I am unstoppable because. I am unstoppable, Connie, because I have a mission and I have a desire and I have intention to on my life this time on this earth to help as many people as I can make the changes that they need to make in mm -hmm. order to live the best, most fulfilling, happiest life ever. And, you know, with that comes my mission for the homeless and, you know, I'm venturing out into some other areas I'm thinking about mm -hmm. supporting as well. Um, but that's, that's why I am unstoppable. Mm, wonderful. Nice. So what, what is, and I know, you know, with where you're at in your success and really be stepping into that space of celebrity, celebrity status, you're always going to have people coming after you and, and wanting a piece of you. So, I mean, there's so many opportunities that, you know, are coming your way. So what's your process for evaluating those opportunities? Um, just to stay grounded to my purpose. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Um, stay grounded to my purpose. Right. And um, mm -hmm. keep my eye on my what, as I would say it in yeah. my book, The Rule of Nines, and take the steps that I've already determined that I would take on a daily mm -hmm. basis okay. in order to achieve those steps. So I have my payoff, which is um, helping the other people. I really, um, I want to hear stories. I want people to send me stuff on their website and let me know. You know, I've heard from my, you know, my working relationships how people's lives have changed. And I'd love to hear that. That's my payoff. That's my reward system. You talked about dollars, but what about your internal payoff that can't be taken away from you? So that's going to keep me on my path. Stay grounded to my purpose. Great. So finish this one. Never have I ever. <laughs> Never have I ever quit. Mm, you're not. Something I mean that means something to me. And only mm -hmm. me. If I felt like I had to do it, I won't lie. If I feel like I need to be skinny because everyone else is, I quit. I quit that diet a hundred times. So that's not important to me. But never have I quit something right. that comes from within my soul that I want to accomplish. Never. No matter how hard it's been or mm -hmm. what sacrifices I've had to make. Wow. So what, what do you think is, is the world's greatest wound? 
Um, judgment. Mm, that's a powerful word. It really is a yeah, powerful, judgment. powerful word. I believe in the, the opposite of judgment, which is acceptance. Right. My, wow. Wow. Uh, again, it's, I mean, I just felt goosebumps going through me when you said that because it is so, so, so true. I read something on Facebook today and it was, they used it to judge me. Something, I don't know, I'll, I'll really crush this. Um, if you've, if you've pissed off enough people, the judgment, the judgment will come and it will come heavy, but I forget, I'm really killing it. But basically, <laughs> but basically what, what, it, what it was saying is don't worry about somebody else's judgment. I mean, you're going to irritate people. You, people are going to not agree with you. But all that means is you're stepping into your own place and doing what fulfills you. Yeah, and people are always going to judge. And, you know, you really need to um, accept <clears throat> people and meet them where they are is what I like to teach. Yes. My nurses, you know, that um, work with the patients, you know, meet mm. people where they are. I don't, if you're the, um, the person without any stable housing living, you know, underneath a freeway overpass or you have a $3 million house, it doesn't matter. It There's doesn't matter. And where they are and work with them where they are. Right. And that's where I'm coming from. And judgment right. is the opposite of that. Right. To me, it's, um, it's confining, it's egotistic, it's mm -hmm. um, narrow-minded. Right. And, um, so that's that. I guess that would be my reasons behind. Okay. It. Okay. So th this this question, um, I, I love asking it. Actually, <laughs> I know. Take it up to you. <laughs> one one more. What do you do more? Um, so when so when you're dirt, what do you want your legacy to be? I mean, what do you want people to say about you? When I'm what dirt? When you're gone? When I'm dirt? Yes. When I'm dirt. Oh, when, when I'm dead. Okay. When, when you're dirt. dead. When you're head. When you're when your feet down, head down, dead, not breathing. <laughs> okay. So what's really important to me? How I yeah. want people to remember me? Yes. Um, her heart was about loving unconditionally, anyone and everybody, accepting them for who they are and mm -hmm. where they are, helping them see the best in themselves and live a better life. Hmm. Okay. I do have one more question. Okay. Will, will, will you ever be satisfied? Good question. <laughs> um, probably not. I mean, satisfied, mm. yes. Like content, yes. But um, feeling like there's not more I can do, I don't think I'll ever hit that place because I really feel, like I said, that's my life purpose. Right. I don't think those wheels are ever going to stop turning. I'm a train going fast forward, whatever direction it is, which is a lot of directions, but, right. um, but satisfied as far as who I am and what I'm doing. Yes. But stopping mm -hmm. like resting on my laurels. No, mm -hmm. no, you're just right. You just write another book. Are you, you're right. A movie yeah. next or <laughs> who knows, who knows what you, what you'll be doing. Well, that's so, how you get to people. That's how you yeah. get out to people. Through, yeah. through books, through movies. That's how you, you um, touch people and, and can change them. Right, exactly, exactly. So before we go, uh, let our listeners know how they could find you. Okay, well, thank you, Connie. So um, you can find me at my website, which is www.loveyouliveyou.com. You can find me on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, Kathleen Heim. All my social media is linked to my website, just so you know. I've got a Facebook page, an Instagram um, I would love to hear from you. So you can send me an email. I do have a section, which I really love, which I recently implemented on the website, which is Ask Kathy. So because I get asked so many um, situational questions, life situations, um, I, I started to open up this column, Ask Kathy. So you can go ahead and reach out via the website and ask me a question. And I will provide the best answer I can implementing my philosophies in life. So uh, maybe that can guide you through your life a little bit. And it's free. Um, also, you can send me um, emails at my website that are more private. So again, www.loveyouliveyou.com. And they could also order or your your book, get a copy yes, of your can. book on your website. Love they you. can pre-order my book and the associated yeah. journal, which is incorporated into the book as of now on my website. Uh, absolutely.
Absolutely. So Kathy Heim, and she's represented by the Talent Concierge Agency. And her book, The Rule of Nines, is published by Morgan James Publishing. So make sure you go on over to her to her website. It's pretty awesome. And, and right there on the front page, the Ask Kathy column is right there. And all questions are kept private. And again, it's free just to have a chat with Kathy, find out what she's up to, and maybe she can help you answer any questions uh, that you might have, um, something that you're going through in your life, because 